Un saludo gente, bienvenidos a un nuevo juego para el canal The Wolf Among Us. Es un título que tenía ya algunos años, desarrollado por Telltale Games, que realmente tenía muchas ganas de probar. Es prácticamente como descubrir una película, van a hablar más los personajes que yo en este caso, y bueno, espero que os guste. Trata sobre personajes de cuentos de hadas en el que vamos a controlar a Wolf, el lobo de varios de estos cuentos, en el que parece ser ahora un comisario que verá por el bien del resto de personajes. ¿vale? Están viviendo en la ciudad como si fuesen humanos y bueno, ahora veréis sus movidas. Eh, es para mayores de 18 años, tiene escenas de violencia, ¿vale? comienza así bastante con hostias, eh, hay que hacer investigaciones también en, algunas, en algunos momentos, como si fuesen estos eh, Sherlock Holmes, así que bueno, si no os gusta este género quizá lo disfrutáis menos, pero bueno, espero que sí que, que os convenza. El juego lo he conseguido de oferta en Epic Games, estaba totalmente en versión original, ¿vale? eh, tanto audio como subtítulos en inglés y he tenido que buscar por la comunidad de Steam un parche que me cambiaba los textos. Están en castellano o en latino, pero bueno, eh, se pueden entender y el audio por tanto se mantiene igual. Una de las partes más interesantes del juego es lo de la toma de decisiones. Veremos allí que nos salen opciones para escoger y bueno, se van guardando y esto por tanto se mantiene para el resto de, de eventos, de capítulos. Lo que decidamos en una situación, pues eso, tendría su repercusión. Veremos, si no lo digo mal, cinco capítulos. Por el momento tengo echado el ojo al primero, lo he estado probando para ver si funcionaba todo bien. Y bueno, eh, me tocará repetir algunas cosas. Solo por recordarlo, estoy jugando en Linux, eh, por lo del parche y tal que os comentaba. En mi caso lo tengo instalado, tengo el cliente de Epic Games desde Lutris, vale, supongo que ya lo conoceréis. Después eh, con el Epic Games me descargué el juego y después para lo del parche pues bueno me metí con la terminal, eh, con lo de la línea de comandos, eh, me puse la carpeta y ejecuté el parche. Nada más eso bueno, y se, se aplicó con un poquito más de problemas pero bueno, eh, así está. Y nada, eh, no os entretengo más, vamos ya a comenzar. Venga. No sé por qué se ha situado aquí, pero bueno, estamos comentando eso, que tiene cinco episodios, hay que comenzar por aquí, donde conocemos a estos dos, nada más comenzar, y venga, a ver. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. 
This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a low blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Venga, vamos a repartir un, unas cuantas leches. Furry prick got shot. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Bueno, pues a ver. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! hey. <clears throat> You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <clears throat> I'll fucking kill you! All right, Hijo de puta. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Y ahora los quemamos todo, ¿vale? Fuck you. Back off, asshole. Had enough? At least it's a fucking challenge. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucking... Oh, fucking shit. You broke my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. 
What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Alright, you need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid <laughs> bitch! Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Guy's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is.
Who do you work for, really? Dee's lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. How much was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see. It's 20, 47, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around. 